Will the following cadets also please come forward? Cadet Raquan Desan. Cadet Rahan Burley. Cadet Rashad Bird. Cadet Renee Martinez Zapata. Cadet Harold Duggar. Cadet Denzel Time. Cadet Kayla Coleman. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's a pleasure to be here today on behalf of the Youth Quest Foundation um, and to present these certificates to the 3D Thinkling program students. We're excited about this STEM project that uses CAD design and 3D printing to teach critical thinking and improve problem solving skills. These students spent 36 hours utilizing science, engineering, and math concepts in a high-tech environment to design and produce both class and individual projects. Through a precise iterative CAD design process, the students learned that failure isn't final. It's just a step to be analyzed and improved upon to take them closer to the path of success. This is Maryland's third cycle. Yay, you were the first um, in this program, and we're pleased to report that this cycle was a resounding success. Students were exposed to several CAD software packages where they learned to create advanced shapes and offset and extrude functions. They performed Boolean and transform operations and produced an Egyptian level and working gears among the projects. In addition to the 30 hours of instruction in CAD and 3D design, the students spent eight hours of vocational orientation visiting the University of Maryland's Nano Center where they explored nanotechnology and visited a 3D print lab uh, that's researching medical applications of 3D printing that actually prints from proteins. So they're actually producing human parts in this um, lab. And they also learned the importance of math and science in continuing their education. They also visited the 3D systems facility that built the 3D printers that they used in their program. And they saw the production and quality control processes um, and were able to ask the staff questions uh, about aspects of the production. They also visited Prototype Productions, um, a company that uses 3D printing to manufacture prototypes such as the new rail for the military rifle that's light and pack load for soldiers by 11 pounds, and that's pretty awesome. And I, and I have to give you an aside here. Um, there, there was another program along uh, with the Maryland kids that shall remain unnamed. And you put them side by side, and I'm telling you what, those Maryland kids looked really good. I was really proud of them. It was awesome. <laughs> um, these cadets also spent eight hours of service to the community, sharing their knowledge of 3D printing with others. They manned the Youth Quest Foundation booth at the U.S. Science and Engineering Fair, and we had 140,000 visitors a day for three days. Additionally, they took 3D printers to Morgan State University and presented a class on 3D printing to college students. And now let's honor these students with, um, and these outstanding young men and women who have successfully completed the YouthQuest 3D ThinkLink initiative training. In addition to receiving certificates today, each student has been previously awarded a ribbon printed on a th in 3D honoring the success of the program. Cadet Gerard Burley. Cadet Rashad Bird. Cadet Kayla Coleman. Cadet Raquan DeSanto. Cadet Dakota Doyle. Cadet Carol Duggar. Cadet Renee Martinez Zapata. Cadet Darius Monroe. Cadet Denzel Time. Cadet Renee Martinez. Well, I got two names here then. That's Christian.
Thank you very much. Um, but I, I just think these kids were absolutely outstanding. They really applied themselves. Um, and from among these participants, two or three will be selected to attend an additional 40 hours of training in 3D printing in Chantilly, Virginia in August to further their knowledge and skills in the area of additive manufacturing. These students will work with a disabled individual to solve a problem that can be addressed through a device that they will design and print on their 3D printers. They will also be building a solar robot that they will outfit using their 3D printers as well. This cycle, our board of directors um, decided to award a scholarship in the amount of $500. All three, um, all three 3D printing programs, that is Maryland, South Carolina, and uh, DC, were given the opportunity for their students to prepare an essay on the impact of the 3D experience on their lives. The outstanding essay that earned the 2014-1 3D ThinkLink scholarship was submitted by Cadet Raquan Desan. We've given this scholarship, and I can tell you that there were um, essays submitted by people who were um, older than our 16-year-old um, submission. Um, and, and I tell you, the reason that he was selected by the board was because he wrote from the heart, and they really, really liked what you did. So, on behalf of the Youth Quest Foundation, its board of directors, and our key sponsors, we thank you for allowing us to be a part of this important milestone in the lives of these youth. And congratulations to you, Charlie, for just such a great program. Aww.